all right guys so today i'm going to be doing an arch speed run see how fast i can get this done in a vm and pretty much get to an xfce screen i get this a bit more ram just so it doesn't lag out on the gui probably will anyways uh we'll create this elsewhere data pool i have one here for whatever reason oh no i don't never mind call this arch finish choose volume forward arch Customize. It's gonna be a UEFI install. Let's see what else we got to set. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Um, should all be good here. Perfect. Close this. Come into the Arch Linux. Uh, right a minute. Not bad. Probably gonna not using any notes here. I'll probably use some notes later for Grub. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna set up the partitions. Use CG disk, C2, 300 megs for EFI partition. Oh, oh, messed up already. I'm gonna do that quite a bit, most likely. 200 megs, uh, EF00. Uh, this is EFI, free space, or 500, that's way too much, it's the wrong size, and to keep pressing control C by accident, damn it. Let's go wrong. Uh, excuse the loud keyboard, it's just how it sounds. Alright, so I'm going to delete this. This is not going too good, because I make a lot of mistakes when I'm do stuff slowly, let alone quickly. So we got boot partition for that, that type of your megs, EF02, so, you get to, so it's set as partition bootable. Uh, next is gonna be root. I'm gonna only gonna make one root partition, no swap, no swap file. Or, you know what? Let's give it, nah, let's just, let's just give it full thing. Um, yeah. Let's see, EFI boot root, yeah. Uh, we'll make this 8303, I believe it is. Yes, 8303 root. Instead of making a separate home folder, just make it all one. And write that. Right, yes. Two minutes. Quit. Okay, uh, must be okay. What else do I need? EFI, boot, root. Yeah, I don't need anything else. KFS.ext for dev VDA2 VDA3 and KFS.fat uh, dev slash VDA1 uh, because uh, it has to be FAT32 for the EFI partition. Next, let me check. Um, Alright, so install procedures. I have internet, right? Yes, we're good. Yeah, um, I should have DNS so I could figure correctly. So let me mount, mount these things. Mount slash dev slash VDA3 slash MNT. MK there slash MNT slash boot. Mount that. MK there slash MNT boot EFI. Mount dev boot. Oops. MNT boot EFI. Whoops, I need the uh, mount VDA1 in there. This is already way too much. Uh, right, so then we can pack strap slash MNT base base dash devel. I like to have all those extra packages. Uh, Linux, because Linux no longer comes prepackaged with Arch. Need the firmware. Uh, let's get Grub. And network manager because there is no default network manager that comes with uh, Arch anymore either. No, or I don't think it ever did, but basically we won't be able to access the internet if we don't install that now. Probably should have installed EFI boot manager too, but we'll, we'll get to that later if you, if you remember. Because otherwise grub install won't work correctly.
I have installed this recently. I did it approximately two hours ago just to make sure the differences in the VM were resolved. I want to see just wanted to see just how fast I could get this done after knowing things without looking at the documentation the, on the Arch Wiki at all. I only time I will refer to my notes is for the Grub install since I do not know the flags I need. I I, I could never memorize those. All right, so now, uh, manifest tab, mnt, or dash u, slash mnt, two, slash mnt, etc. tab, boom, your first tab generated, arch to root. Do we need anything else over here? I don't think so. Uh, okay, nope, it's still at last. No. Nope. Uh, no. Let's see host name. Let's call. Whoops. I thought I installed Arch. I mean, then. Because I didn't install that too. And while we're at it, let me fourth we get. Alright. Let's see host name. Call it arch.vert. Uh, let's see host. Uh, da -da. One, two, seven. Zero zero one arch yeah, copy paste this arch dot vert and then this will be dot one dot one all right let's see v console dot com that's gonna be for the keyboard key map equals us and then we need the locale to locale dot conf that's gonna be n underscore no wait lang equals n underscore us dot utf eight yep shape and then time so that's uh, no user share zone info in new york let's see local time and then see what we're we missing what we're we missing uh i believe we're good on that front okay net cpio dash p we make that Okay, it's about to finish. Let me pull up my grub notes, or just my Linux notes, which has the grub instructions. There we go. Okay, grub dash install, dash dash target, x86, but whoops, x86, score 64, dash EFI, dash EFI, dash directory, which is gonna, again, we put in boot EFI, so it should be in there. And then this is, we don't really need this. This is for the, for the, uh, for the, for the uh, BIOS, but we don't really need that since this is a VM. All right, it's installed and click config. I'll put that boot grub grub.cfg. Perfect. And let's see, missing time. We got time, network. Should be all good. Exit. Uh, I don't know why. Just, uh, whatever. So I'm already there. T, eight minutes in. Reboot. Should load into Arch. Hopefully, yes, it worked. Got it. perfect. I didn't set a password. I didn't set a password, so good thing it didn't ask for one. All right, set that. Now let's install. Oh, I think sudo out of habit doesn't even exist. Uh, this is SPCI. So yeah, you can see it's QXL, SSS, XF86, grub, QXL, boom, backline dash S, XF86 dash video, QXL. While we're out uh, while we're at it, we'll install XORG. Yeah. And we'll say default all. You won't sort through all that. And I forgot to set up the network. It's fine. System CTO start network. Manager, uh, and the pool. Perfect, and then this should be good. Yes, it is. Let's go back and run that again. Default all, yes. Install. 
I think we can get it done in under 15. Don't need this anymore. A lot of packages. Probably could just install just a few, but I don't feel like mem memorizing which ones I need and or like debugging which ones I I do need it later. It's it's, it's just you know, make me waste time. All right, we should all be good. Uh, I Said I was gonna install XFCE, so let's do that. XFCE four. Install those packages. Yes. If, if you're wondering why it installs all these packages with this, like this with XOR as well, it's because uh, it's a group of packages. It's not just one package of the DE. Saves a lot of time. All right, this is just about done. Perfect. Uh, X and initial listen. Let me see what this is. XFC, star XFC, there we go. So I need to make my X init RC for XORG. Uh, exec start XFC 4 perfect. And start X. Boom, 11 minutes, 47 seconds. It's all functional. Works, obviously it's gonna be pretty slow because, well, it's a VM and VM and the coolies don't really play too well. But yeah, that was fun. Thanks for watching.